Good morning, everyone. Um, I just wanted to kind of say hello, check in, and and give you the lay of the land for the rest of the semester. Um, so we are going to be, no, no matter what happens, we're staying online at this point. We're not moving back. We're never going to see each other on a Saturday again. <laughs> um, this, the plan is to finish out the semester online. All courses that can be moved online are being moved online. So that is what we're going to do. Um, I realize this is a, a super extraordinary circumstance, and I want to do everything I can to make sure everyone still gets to the finish line and that, you know, I'm doing everything I can to accommodate all of you and make sure everyone individually gets what they need uh, to, to finish. So what I'm going to do, just because I know some people probably have uh, are, are now have kids at home even more than they did before, and who knows what's going on with jobs and stuff, I'm going to make um, and any due date is going to be kind of like a recommended due date. So uh, it's going to be work at your own pace. I'm going to have all the material up and um, you're going to be able to work through it as you can, because I realize different people's situations are going to be really different now with uh, the coronavirus. Um, third thing, I just want to give you a little heads up about like, so, so everything's going to be up there, work at your own pace. And then um, there are two ways you know, besides communicating by messages in Canvas and email, which is always um, appropriate, I'm going to also, every week, I will have some time where I will do Zoom conferences, and um, we'll, we'll see how that works. You know, we could do them as groups, but I'll also make sure that there's individual time slots, too, if you want to meet. And so uh, Zoom is a video conferencing tool and we can talk we can see each other if you choose you don't have to you can blank out your screen um and um i'll also i think i'm also going to get a uh, google phone number so that you guys can call me um just i, I just want to give you everyone as many options as possible to find something that's going to work for you to get through this okay um and then also for simplicity sake i'm gonna move everything into 101. So we're just going to abandon the 108 page for now. I'm going to put, um, and instead of having weekly modules, there's going to be just, um, there's going to be, let me think, four, I guess really kind of five or six modules because these two will be at the top. So um, there's just going to be, there's going to be some modules. They're not going to be like weeks, okay? I'm just going to number the modules in Canvas in 101. Um, I haven't gotten to it yet. I just have sort of planned it all out, gamed it all out, and I'm going to start um, putting that stuff up today. So um, so we're going to stick to 101. Everything's going to be online. You're going to be able to work at your own pace. You're going to have ways to get in touch with me. Okay. So I just want to go over what's left, okay, this semester. So I'm going to just at the top of the 101 class, and this is totally optional. I'm just going to put a, a short, small module there that has a check in thread. If anybody wants to say hi, if anybody wants to ask any question about anything regarding the class or dealing with kids at home or whatever it is, I just want you guys to have a place where you can check in and say hi to your classmates um, and to me. And we can all respond to one another and support each other and help each other through what's going to be a, a long, difficult time here, I think. Um, and then there's also going to be a page in there with resources. Uh, one thing I really want to make sure everyone knows is that um, there's a CCP page called CCP Cares. And on that page, it has links to like everything else at CCP that you might be needing, such as counseling, advising, the bursar's office. So all that is kind of in one place right now. Um, that uh so so anyway so that links in there i'm going to put a couple of the resources in there so that could just be of use and obviously i'm i'm willing to answer any questions you might have about anything um i know summer registration i think opened yesterday um and i i have a you know i i, I think it's very likely that summer one will end up being completely online fyi if you're considering registering for summer one okay so there'll, there'll be this kind of reset module in the top uh, of the 101 class. And then these are the things that we're still going to do and that you're going to be able to do at your own pace. So the first thing is we had been, before we got um, 
put to the sideline. We were the last thing I had asked you to do was to read chapter four. And then in class last Saturday, we were slated to go over chapter four and prepare to write the rhetorical analysis essay. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put some material online in a module about the rhetorical analysis essay. And um, I'm going to uh, have a lecture video about chapter four, some discussion questions about chapter four. I'll do a tutorial video um, about the essay. I'll put a Dropbox for you to draft, uh, to, to, to submit a draft of the paper, and I can give you feedback. Um, you're also, you know, this is this could be something where where something like um, a Zoom conference or you know talking about the paper on the phone is going to be totally, um, you know, valid. Something that we could do, and um, that'll be how we'll get that essay done. Okay, so that's going to be our first. Th I think that it makes sense to start with that. Okay, because um, you've already started that. You've already read chapter four, and um, even though you know right now. One other thing I should mention is this, you can't, um, the school is closed for two weeks. We're closed until the 28th. So I can't require you to do any work now. And like I said, the whole semester, I'm going to let you work at your own pace from here on in, but you can start doing stuff now if you want. Like, so this is something where, you know, you have read chapter four. If you want to get going on that, I'm going to get this material up as soon as I can in the next day or two. Um, and you're welcome to start working on it. You're not required to, but you're welcome to. Okay, um, and you know things could get worse with the virus moving forward. So I wouldn't, uh, you know, I encourage you if you can, if you have the time, do it. Just knock it out. Okay, so that'll be, you know, we'll finish that rhetorical analysis essay, and then after that, here's what we've got left. Um, I'm gonna do in place of I usually do for science. I usually do climate change in Philadelphia. I'm going to change it. We're going to do a unit on the coronavirus since that is very relevant at the moment. Okay. So there'll be a module and this here is just a bit of an overview of what that module is going to look like. You know, I'll start with, uh, you know, one of my like pre quizzes to see what you guys already know about it. And then, um, I'll talk about how to do readings in the sciences. I'm going to give you a chapter on pandemics, which is what the coronavirus has now been called, uh, from a textbook. We're going to look at some other um, information about the coronavirus, do some quizzes, and there'll be a, a brief writing assignment. So um, hopefully that will be of interest to everyone because it's really going to be relevant to all of our lives right now. Um, and then the next module will be uh, a module on the humanities. So we're going to um, watch some films, and you will have links to those through the library. I'm going to, um, I'll do some um, some videos where I talk about how to interpret films. I will, um, I will model some of the interpretation for you. And, um, the paper that we'll write will be about the film Quest, which is about a family in North Philly, really great documentary. Um, and, um, you know, I'm going to build out that module. I, it's going to take me a little while to get to that because I first want to do the coronavirus module and the rhetorical analysis module. But, Looking down the road a little bit, we're going to do some film stuff, okay? And then the other stuff that we'll be doing is finishing up Gladwell. Um, I'm going to probably have like some discussion threads and, um, you know, check-ins for each chapter, some comprehension questions. Sometimes I'll ask you to like post a video just flipping through your chapter with your annotations. Um, and if you don't want to do a video, you could take pictures and upload them, whatever the case may be. Um, I just want it to be easy for you. I want you to have options. And, you know, we will do, you'll have a take home exam. Um, you'll have uh, a midterm. And then, you know, the, the last thing we'll, you'll do is once you've finished all that, the very last thing is going to be a short reflective essay and a exam on chapter eight of Gladwell. So those are the final exams. Okay. Um, so that is what we're going to do to get to the finish line, okay? And um, if at any point you have feedback, concerns, questions, just let me know. Um, you know, if something's not working for you, if you need additional assistance, let me know. Because, uh, you know, this is going to be my first time completely teaching online. I usually do hybrid. So uh, I rely a lot on the in-class stuff to make sure... Uh, that I can see all of you and make sure that I think you're all getting what's going on and I can 
you know, read faces and say, hey, I see this person needs this or this person needs that. That's going to be a little harder to do now that we're online. So make sure you reach out to me if 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 you need something. OK, um, and be safe and uh, I'll miss you guys. But I will, you know, we'll see each other on Zoom. We'll see each other online and um, stick with it. We're going to get through this. Um, I really want you all to get to the finish line. OK, so um, look, uh, be on the lookout for more stuff posted over the next few days and um, take care of yourselves. Okay.